what's up everyone welcome back so in previous videos we've covered month zero month one and month one and month two uh, where we, we went through some of the modules and some of the c projects that were major uh most notable were the c print f which marks the middle of the sprint and c simple shell that marks the end of the sprint which is actually the major project in sprint one so when you finish um when you finish like sprint one, you're given like a week's break, then you move into sprint two. That's sprint no sprint two, yeah. So in sprint two, start with start off with Python. Python high level. See if you've noticed the whole of sprint uh one was mostly C. So it was intentional because they're teaching you all the fundamentals in C, how to use C functions, everything that uh involve c you're just gonna do them in sprint one which is purely c but now in in sprint two it takes a different approach because you're going to be taught some python you're going to do some python projects you're going to start with you know hello world you're going to do some loops some data structures in c you're going to do some um, modules how to import modules in c some basic data structures in python and um, you know many more data structures then in sprint two instead of now teaching you like see the language because they already did that in sprint one now they give you a data structure to to solve using c so in this case uh you're going to be given like the fundamentals uh in sprint one you we did um singly linked lists which only have like a forward movement so in this case you're going to be introduced to doubly linked lists and uh, dynamic libraries, which are not which are not that different from static, they only have major minor changes. But now, in C, in Sprint two, you're just gonna be given like a data structure, and you're told to implement it in that uh, not a data structure, an algorithm, and you're told to implement it in C. So the first major one is um, C. You're going to implement stacks and queues, which is LIFO and FIFO. It has a weight of two, which is actually pretty major. That's that's actually the major one, the major project that you're going to do in month three. So yeah, and it has like a weight of two. So then you also do some Python exceptions and Python intro to classes and objects, all of that. Then an evaluation. But anything that you're going to do in C in Sprint two is mostly implementing an algorithm. So that's one thing to look out for. That's one thing to be able to like. Uh, keep in mind because all the fundamentals in C have been done in Sprint 1. As, as I've stated, stated earlier, I mentioned earlier that Sprint 1 is purely C. So there no, there's no Python. You're going to see Python in Sprint 2. So I've been getting a lot of people asking me why are we starting with C? Why are you not doing Python? Why are you not doing JavaScript? Those are things that you're going to unlock as you move in deeper into the program. So in Sprint 2, you're just going to be given Python and uh, let me tell you, if you thought C was uh, difficult, um, wait until you start implementing algorithms in C, then you'll see how more difficult they are. But that's not saying that they are not doable. It's just saying the difficulty level increases as you move deeper into the program. So, um, yeah, I mean, and also have fun while you're at it because when you learn or some the way you're going to learn these projects here and learn all these tasks here. Is going to like sharpen you into a point where you're not going to be able to like uh struggle in any problem so that's month three so month three just a rundown you have like uh, the python fundamentals in there then you're given an algorithm in c to implement so um yeah uh if you guys like the video make sure you leave your feedback i'll follow it up with month four and stay tuned to the for the next one and uh i'm out peace